This is a reading from Muscle and a Shovel by Michael Shank. We're on chapter 9. The title of the chapter is Lower Than a Pregnant Ant. And the subtitle says Later That Afternoon. We're on page 65 of the book Muscle and a Shovel. Janetta whipped up a nice Sunday lunch after we arrived back at the apartment, and I searched Matthew 3 from for the beginning of the Baptist church. We were not entertaining friends that day and it was too cold to do anything outside. I ate lunch through a long face. What's wrong, she asked. The chapter that that pompous blank recommended says nothing about John starting the Baptist church. I replied as though someone had shot me in the stomach. His nickname stuck. She thought while she chewed, what does it say? The text speaks of John the Baptist, of course, but it's a description of his activities. It's not a proper name. Matthew 3, 6 says that people were coming to him from Judea and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River. It doesn't say he started the Baptist church or any church at all. Do you think maybe the pastor made a mistake on the chapter? She volleyed giving the reverend the benefit of the doubt. Maybe. I tried to be generous, but I'll read a little more tonight. Coincidentally, many of my repair calls during the following week came from my Baptist church accounts. So I took advantage of the situation and asked the various Baptist preachers the same question. Who started the Baptist church? Some said John the Baptist. Some said that the Baptist church came out of the Catholic church during the Reformation movement. Some said that the Baptist Church was part of the Church of the Bible. Some were not sure when or where it began. One thing was clear. None of them could provide any scriptural support proving that the Baptist Church was in the Bible or that it was a part of the Church of the Bible. Their lack of biblical support fueled my frustration. Later that week, Randall met me coming through the back door of OSI with his Bible in hand, but I cut him off. Randall, I don't want to argue, I said before he could say a word. But Randall replied, Mr. Mike, it's my Christian duty to come to you and apologize for offending you. I was floored. I had yelled at Randall during the previous week for no reason other than pressing him into verbalizing his personal convictions, and he was the one apologizing? He went, he went on, Mr. Mike, Matthew 5, 23 and 24 says, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer your gift. I'm truly sorry if I've offended you in any way. Will you please forgive me? I was ashamed of myself. I felt lower than a pregnant aunt. Randall, you have nothing to be forgiven of. It's me that needs your forgiveness. Would you forgive me for yelling at you the other day? I asked with great shame, looking down at the dirty concrete floor. Absolutely, my friend, and he put his arm around me. He was smiling so wide he could have eaten a banana sideways. He was a true Christian. Hey, while we're talking, I've got a Bible question for you, I said as I stepped away from the uncomfortable man hug. Some Baptists believe that John the Baptist started the Baptist church. What do you say? Now you're talking my language, Randall responded. Let's step, step over to my office, he said in a loud flamboyant voice. We both laughed because his office was an old desk in the corner. He, th he flipped through his Bible at mock speed. Look at this, Mr. Mike, Randall said as he laid his Bible down on the top of his paper-filled desk. He was in Matthew 16, pointing at verse 13 through 18. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say you're John the Baptist, some Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, 
Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Mr. Mike, Randall continued, Jesus said that he would build his church. Jesus would build it, not John. Notice that Jesus prophesied of this event. Future tense. It would be his church. But it did not yet exist. It didn't exist when Jesus made his statement. Jesus declares unity and singularity in his statement. I, singular, will build my, belonging to him, church, singular. Jesus told Peter that he would build one church and that it would belong to him. Jesus will claim only what belongs to him. Now, John the baptizer never prophesied about building a church, owning a church, or purchasing a church with his own blood. What do you mean by purchasing? You've said that before, I asked. Let me show you, Randall said as he turned more pages. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. That's Acts 20:28. 20, you see, the Bible teaches us that Jesus purchased the church with his blood. I've never seen that verse, I responded. It's okay, Mr. Mike. Many people haven't, Randall replied. But let the Bible interpret itself. Jesus said he would build his church. And Acts 20, 28 said that he bought it with his own blood. Colossians 1, 18 says he is the head of the body, the church. Does the Bible say that John the baptizer prophesied that he would also build a church or that he would purchase his church with his blood or that he would be the head of his own church? I'd never seen any of these verses. To be honest, I'd never really read that much of the Bible. I was one of those people who would read pieces of the Bible during hard times. If I was in trouble, I'd ask God for help. But my Bible study habits were poor. My study habits consisted of putting a Bible on the table with the spine down and allowing it to fall open. I believed that wherever the Bible opened was what God wanted me to read. I was beginning to see that this approach was a fool's approach. Uh, I'm not really sure, Randall, I replied weakly, because I was no longer wrestling with Randall. I was wrestling with my, exi my existing beliefs and beginning to see that my beliefs were different than the Bible verses that I was now seeing for the first time in my life. Mr. Bi Mr. Mike, you dig in your Bible, and you'll see that John didn't prophesy he would start a church, nor did he purchase a church with his own blood, nor is he the head of any church. Dig all you want, and you won't find it, because it ain't there. I could go out and start a denomination, call it anything I wanted, and claim some Bible character started it. But that wouldn't make it so, would it? Randall asked a question, and I did not offer an answer. He pressed on. Notice here in Matthew 16, 18, that Jesus said, And I also say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Randall followed the verse with his index finger. This is where our Catholic friends make one of their first mistakes. You see, they use this verse to say that the Catholic Church is founded on Peter, but it isn't. Here's why, Randall went on. The New Testament was originally written in Greek. In the Greek, you'll find that the word for Peter and the word for rock on which Christ was to build his church are two separate words with two different meanings. I nodded, nodded as if to say yes, showing him I was still following. Now, Mr. Mike, stay with me. The name Peter is Petros in the Greek, which is the masculine gender. However, the word for rock in the Greek is Petra, which is the feminine gender. Petros, Peter, is a piece of rolling rock or fragment, while Petra, rock, 
is a solid, massive, immovable structure. So, Randall, I interrupted, what's the point? I'm sorry, Mr. Mike. The point is to, to identify what it was that Jesus would build his church upon. Was the church to be built on Peter or something else? Jesus said, and I say also unto thee, thou art Petros, Peter, and upon this Petra rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 16, 18. You see, Jesus was not saying he'd build his church on Peter like the Catholics would have you believe. Jesus said he built his church on a rock, something, dis something distinctly different than the man called Peter. We know this because of the two different Greek word words in the text. The church would not be built on Peter, but would instead be built on something that Peter said. I looked at Randall, waiting for him to give me the answer, and he took the cue. Peter said in Matthew 16, 16, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, showing me with his index finger again. Mr. Mike, Christ's church was going to be built upon the confession of faith that Peter made regarding Jesus Christ. It is the same public confession that Jesus Christ is the living Son of God, and that was the same confession that would later kill Christ. The confession that Jesus Christ is the Son, the Petra, the solid, massive, immovable substructure on which Christ's church would be built. Randall continued. Now the question is this, did John the Baptist start the Baptist church? I seriously considered his answer in light of the scriptures, but I did not answer. Mr. Mike, John the Baptist could not have started the Baptist church. Do you know why? Why, I asked. Because in Matthew chapter 14, 10, two chapters before Jesus prophesied about building his church, John was dead. John was dead. He'd been beheaded by Herod. So John, I interrupted, was dead before Jesus even talked about building a church? I could not believe it. Randall said, that's right, that's right. Then John could not have possibly started the Baptist church. That's correct, Mr. Mike, Randall replied. Well, when did Jesus build his church, or does the Bible say, I asked. Oh yeah, the Bible reveals that the church began after Jesus' after Jesus' ascension into heaven, after his being seated on the right hand of God and on the day of Pentecost. It is found in the second chapter of the book of Acts, Randall answered. The most basic Bible points were beginning to take shape. So Randall, you're saying that Jesus prophesied about building his church and the church didn't belong to John. No church was started by John because he was dead long before the church ever began. And you're saying that Jesus ascended to heaven before his church began? Mr. Mike, I'm not saying it. The Bible says it, Randall clarified. And you've read the scriptures for yourself. You're understanding it just fine. Randall had made more sense with his worn out Bible than any preacher I had talked to all week. Benjamin Franklin is quoted as saying, the sting in any rebuke is the truth. I was feeling the sting, but the truth was also liberating. Jesus said in John 8, 32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Then who started the Baptist church? I asked the question, now mentally exhausted. Randall smiled and said, Go to the library, Mr. Mike, because there ain't no Baptist church in the Bible. John was a baptizer, not a member of any Baptist denomination, and he wasn't the father of the Baptist either. Bellevue had a small public library, and I just happened to be a card-carrying member. The advice paid off. I checked out a book on denominational history, drove back to the apartment, made a pot of coffee, got into my Nike sweats, put on a beater tee, and dug in. The historical denominational research revealed facts that some pastors did not seem to know or they didn't want to share with me. The Baptist church began with a man named John Smith, a fellow of Christ College in Cambridge, who had broken his ties with the Church of England. 
he became a Puritan, then a Separatist, and ended his days working with the Mennonites. Persecution led Smith into exile to Amsterdam, where he and fellow worker Thomas Hell, Hell use would Hell Wees, I can't say that right. It's H E L W Y S would come to and form the First Baptist Church somewhere between 1607 and 1609, depending on which historian is referenced. When I compared everything in the four Gospels to the assertions made by my own denomination, as well as the historical information, the conclusion was loud and clear. The Baptist denomination began in Amsterdam, Holland. It was started by John Smith and Thomas Hellies, circa 1607 to 1609. That was approximately 16 centuries after John the Baptist. Maybe some of us Baptists were just trying to be optimistic and thinking that John started the Baptist denomination. Some of us simply did not know our own history readily available at the local library. Some Baptists claimed an unbroken secession from John the Baptist, yet their premise was clearly false. There is not an ounce of scripture to support a claim of unbroken secession, nor is there any scriptural support that John started anything. John pointed to the Christ. He was the prophesied forerunner of the Messiah. John prepared men's hearts and men's way for Christ. He was a servant of the Lord, not the builder of the Lord's church. Yes, maybe we good-hearted Baptists were just being optimistic. But it was not our denominational optimism that bothered me. It was our ignorance of the word and our lack of biblical support for our various claims. Through my own personal research, I had found that the John the Baptist origin was in reality a lie. Why did I believe what I believed? It was how I was raised, I had never known anything else, and I had never really studied the Bible. I was angry, but I was not angry at Randall. I was angry at myself. I was angry at my own personal ignorance of God's word. Jesus said, you do err, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God, Matthew twenty-two twenty-nine. 29. Why do we make religious mistakes? Because we do not know the scriptures.